Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're over here in London and I'm joined by Republic of Ireland International and Tottenham Hotspur player Matt Doherty. Firstly Matt, thanks for taking the time out to have a chat with us. Yeah, no problem. Absolute pleasure. Top man. Um, well, I suppose the international squad has been uh, announced yesterday. Um, we know the squad and obviously the Azerbaijan game and the Qatar game are coming up. But uh, I suppose we just get kind of straight into it from, from your perspective. I was looking at the last camp you know, you seem to be facing the media a lot more. You seem to be coming out a lot more, um, just in terms of interviews and stuff like that. Do you feel now you're kind of getting to that stage of, of being a leader within the, the camp? Um, I guess so. In terms of um, just, I guess the amount of games I've played in my career and stuff like that. Um, there's a few of us there now that are all kind of the same bracket: me, Duffy, John Egan, Jeff Hendrick. We all kind of came through the same age group. Um, so yeah, look, I. I feel like a senior player in the team just because I'm playing every game with, with Stephen and um, and he's kind of given us players that I just mentioned that kind of um, ability to kind of lead in the team in the, in the changing room and, and kind of bring the younger players forward so um, I think I was put forward for the media I don't know if that was by, by choice necessarily but um, yeah, look, I feel like one of one of the leaders in the team for sure. Mm. Oh yeah, I said to you off air there just I was looking at the caps and I think you were correcting me as well but just uh, I see 23 caps and you know, I look at the age of you yeah. and I really feel like you should have had more and that's kind of brings me to kind of looking at the younger lads coming through now at the moment are you happy to see kind of the fact that the younger lads are, are getting a chance to come in because maybe you were probably denied the chance yeah to absolutely and they have an unbelievable opportunity of playing for your country at the at the age some of them are playing some of them are very young so um, look they've got to, they've got to really understand what it means they've really got to try and grasp it with both hands um, and not and not take it for granted because I, th I think you can see with the turnover of players that we've had recently um, if you're not kind of pulling your way or you're not doing it then there's a good chance that you might you might get changed in or swapped out for somebody else so um, these young players they have all the ability all the, all the talent they just need to realise how much it means I mean for me just personally for me I absolutely can't wait to get away with the international team um, and I hope that's the case for everybody else that really look forward to playing and really want to play and try and win games again for us. Yeah, because it, it does always seem to be the case when, when any of the Irish lads come across that they love getting together, they love getting into camp and, yeah. you know, regardless of anything else, when you're in the camp, it seems to be there's just a good solid foundation within the lads there. Yeah, there is. I think it's because a lot of us are, are friends. We've played with each other for, for quite a period of time. The younger lads now, they're all of similar age, playing against each other, all probably played younger age together. Um and I guess we enjoy going there because we get we get coached really well as well. Um, we obviously the manager Anthony Barry and and um, Keith Andrews were getting we're getting top coaching, so um, it's always more enjoyable when when the training is good and and you're having a good time there. So yeah, look, it's going to be it's only no, it's only two games this time, but it's going to be it's going to be a good week. Mm, I I don't want to put you on the spot here, but for, for me as a fan, if it frustrates me how much flack that the management get because. I think you spoke about it in press conferences as well. Performances have been there, but maybe just the goals that haven't gone in our way that just make the performance not look as good or as glamorous because yeah. of the result overall. And people are constantly saying the manager's not up to it and he's, he's this and yeah. that. But you've come out and publicly said that he is. You know? Yeah, I think, it's the, I think that's the complete opposite. If you saw the way we were in camp, the way we were run, the way we, or we were set up, the way we were coached, then... There would be if there was a camera there. There would be no problem um, from anybody with how how things were going. Obviously, we know that it's results business, but I mean, I think when I look back at all the games that the managers had, I know it's easy to say because we haven't won, but there was a lot of games in there where we played some good football, mm. um, and there was games where we didn't we didn't deserve to lose, and and things could have been things could have been a lot different. So. Um, for me and I know I probably speak on behalf of a lot of the players also we have full full faith and full commitment and backing in, in what they're trying to do and um, and we hope they're there for a long time because like I said we get coached wonderfully well mm. well I, I would actually echo what you said because I have been at the games I've been fortunate enough to work at them during yeah. Covid so I have actually seen the performance of the team yeah. and I, I just think we're just a couple of goals shy of a couple of results. I mean, we look at the Portugal game. Yeah. A couple more minutes we held, held out. That's a wonderful result, you know. But something just, something like that changes the whole narrative mindset yeah. of the week, you know. Like if you hold out, um, if you hold out against Portugal, everybody comes into the next game 
feeling a little bit better feeling like a bit on top of the world after we've just beat Portugal away so um, if we can just get them little details to go our way it can change the whole mindset of the week yeah but hopefully it's the case we're, we're at the end of the international window we're coming away with uh, two wins that'll be ideal and take yeah. the momentum then into the November camp but uh, I was speaking to you know actually Adam from the FAO he was a big Wolves fan um, and he was uh, telling me I didn't know this but you actually when you signed to Wolves they went from Premier League to League One to back to Premier League but you played the full or you were there for the full journey back to the Premier League I think they no I think they that's his words now yeah they? I think his words, his words are, might be wrong I think they went so they were in the Premier League I think they stayed that season the Premier League the next season the Premier League um, and then they went to double, the double relegation so and then this promotion straight away and then obviously consolidated in the Championship for a few years before before I went back up so yeah it was um, I was on loan for a couple of those seasons as well but it was still a bit of a roller coaster journey I was still in in league one still in the championship still around the club obviously um through all that so like where the club are now it's um it's a great achievement yeah but just for, from your own point of view because it was a bit of a rise for you at the same time because yeah. we spoke about not you know camps or caps and stuff but then when I suppose Nuno came in it was when you started getting a bit of an opportunity and, and, and probably getting a run in the team and then yeah even well, at that though it was a bit of a struggle to get you into the to the Irish team because Seamus was there as yeah, well look, but you were still probably the, the most informed Irish player at the time no look Seamus is the captain and um and he's been playing Premier League games for the last 10 yeah. years at an extremely high level so um there was no I had no issue with him even now if he plays there's no issue I know the quality that he has and we have a really good relationship even though people seem to no, know I, I know I'm actually a massive ever fan of Seamus for my favourite player but I've seen his and he said the exact same thing about you as well yeah so. yeah we have we have a really good relationship so um, what was the what was the first part of that question um, just in, in regards to you know your, oh, your yeah, guys coming was, up what was that like yeah look it was um, really enjoyable I guess there was times when I was at Wolves where you kind of just feel like am I just the champ- championship player are we just going to stay in, in the championship you always have the belief at the start of pre-season like oh lads oh, is this, is this going to be the year like every team in the championship will have now um, and then and then Nuno came in and things kind of changed they brought they, they made a couple of like high profile signings at the time where it was a lot of money when we were in the championship so um, Ruben Neves really Wally Jota you know players like that now so yeah, look, straight away it just kind of clicked and we played, we had we obviously had the three at the back with the wing backs playing high and wide. Um and we just start we just started off really well and, and never really looked back and we kind of flew through the league and um that was probably one of the most enjoyable seasons that I've had. Yeah, and then obviously you take that form and then Spurs come along, Jose Mourinho, yeah. you know, signs you. Well, that must have been a serious compliment that a manager of his, you know, profile wanted to come in and get you. And he actually said that he he feared playing against you, you were that good. Yeah, look, um, I knew Jose. I knew Jose um, wanted me f- before I went. Before I went to um, obviously Tottenham in the end. So um, yeah, look, he was the main reason why I really went um, because because of who he was. Just I want I wanted to play for him. I wanted to work for him. Um, it didn't quite work out. That's a regret of mine that I have that we didn't manage to work, to work out together. But that but that's fine. We still I still have a, would have a good relationship with now if I saw him. So. Um, yeah, look, when, when he came calling, it was impossible for me to say no. Yeah, well, obviously you mentioned that it hasn't gone too well, or it didn't go too well from in the end, but you're back with Nuno now. now. Um, I suppose yeah. results haven't been going great for you, but I suppose you would back the manager to, to be able to turn things around. Yeah, look, I obviously worked with him for three years, so I know what his capabilities, I know how good he is, I know how good his, his coaching staff are. So, um, look, he won manager of the month three weeks ago, so... Um, I don't think we can we can panic too much. We we've obviously lost three games in a row, but there were three difficult games: Palace away, and then you're playing Chelsea, and then obviously the dar- the main derby against against Arsenal. So um, that that can happen. We need to kind of just forget about it now and, and think about the game on Sunday and 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 try going go into the international break with a win that will change the whole process and whole thought process of of the club during the, the international window. And will you be looking? Maybe at the in- or Sunday and then the international window, albeit you don't get injured, um, to then force your way back into the side full time. Yeah, look, obviously it's a bit been a bit of frustration so far start of the season. Um, but yeah, that's up to me. I need to train well. I need to play better in the games when I do get an opportunity to make them think that um, I have to put them in the team. I can't keep them out. So um, we'll see how it goes on Sunday. Obviously, we don't know anything yet, and then. 
you know one of my way international play well and 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 give him a headache to think that I have to play. Yeah, well, he certainly did well the last international break, so hopefully he can keep that form going. Um, just out of there on my notes, just the funny thing that people may not know is actually you're a massive cricket fan. How did that come about? Because, you know, there's not a lot of, well, not that I know, but my best mate actually a massive cricket fan, but you know who else, know else is? Connor Hurin is a big cricket fan as well. Is he? Yeah. And how did it come about? Like, if, if you weren't a footballer, would you be a cricketer? No, not at all. Um, I don't know, really. I think... Uh, there was we used to play on the street I don't know because maybe Malahide Cricket Club was close you know um, my brother played at Malahide Cricket Club I think it was that one World Cup where um, Ireland beat England a long time ago now but uh, I, I just remember it and we used to play we used to go out on the street and just uh, I don't know what it is I don't know if it's just the challenge of the game but the thing is I like the test cricket more than the one day stuff which is even people think is even worse because of it's I don't know is, is that the one that goes on for five like four days, yeah. five days yeah I don't know it's something I, I absolutely love to watch I could sit there all day and watch it to be honest so um, the IPL is starting at three so if you can if I could get back for that for <laughs> <the> game <laughs> okay well no worries but uh, I suppose just the last thing is obviously you're a massive Tiger Woods fan yeah. um, you're mad into your golf as well because I do yeah. see you out with like lots of players and stuff like that I have heard a quote of, I don't know who it was but said you'd be the worst Irish man if someone didn't know you're Irish because you don't like Guinness no, you I like don't. golf and you like cricket or something, yeah I don't along that. I don't drink that much and everyone seems to um, think that drinking is, a, is an, an Irish thing so yeah I'm not a big drinker I don't yeah I don't like uh, going to the pubs and stuff like that so um, yeah the golf thing is yeah I'm big on golf we, we have a good golf school at Tottenham so um, the standards the standards quite good I've always been always been into it even way Ireland actually Shane Duffy likes to play a lot um, and it's a great I think it's a great social thing to have you know you go out it's three four hours you spend it with people um, gets you out of the house away from the kids so um, all good yeah it gets you away from teams well um, I suppose we'll, we'll wrap it up and I just want to say a special thanks to Attack Sports for facilitating this interview and um, you're obviously yeah. kitted out in the gear what, what do you think of the gear just to yeah, finish look, off the, obviously I find the gear very comfortable um, obviously I have the base layer on I've got the undershorts on and, and, and the socks um, and yeah it's something that I'll, I'll continue to wear obviously away with International next week um, some of the lads at Tottenham have been, have been wearing some of the gear so yeah it's um, fantastic I know you're a big fan of the socks because they come up high yeah, look, you know what? Normally, I don't like to show that much skin. I don't know if you ever noticed. I always normally wear my socks quite high, um, shorts a little bit low. But um, look, this gear is, is absolutely lovely, so I've got no problem wearing it. Absolutely. Well, you just can check it out at attack.ie. Um, big shout out to Matt for giving us his time. And uh, let us know what you think of the video in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. And uh, if you're not following Matt on all social medias, make sure you are now. And we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. You can get back to your cricket now. <laughs>